So what I'm saying here in closing, as my camera gives out on me, is that if you have someone who genuinely loves you, you can face anything. And by the same token, it can also be said that the kind of person he was showed he had flaws. He made inappropriate jokes that he later had to pull back on. Not the harmless one that I said. But people stood by him past his mistakes. If you have that, you have everything. And by the same token, that is the way that he loved his listeners, as shown by the fact that he stayed with all of us until the very end. And uh, in closing, I want to say this. Without a doubt, the number of lives that Rush Limbaugh has saved by charities and things that allowed AIDS patients to get medicines that they couldn't otherwise afford, the amount of lives that Rush Limbaugh has saved through his charities more than made up for the comments he made, which didn't cost anyone their life. Let me repeat that. The mistakes that Rush Limbaugh made that did not cost anyone their life was more than made up for by the charity work that he did, which actually tangibly saved lives. So, Mrs. Limbaugh out there, you're amazing. Rest in peace, Maharishi. And, you know, we've got people out here like the left, the loving left, uh, as we leave the Rush Limbaugh behind here. Bette Midler. Now, Bette Midler once reported me for an inappropriate comment that I left to her in regards to her hypocrisy and hatred. She, she, she tried to get me off Facebook. Bette Midler did because of something I said to her. So what does she type? She types that wherever Rush Limbaugh is today, it's probably very hot. What? I paraphrased that one. And then Newt Gingrich wrote back, uh, Rush Limbaugh passing is a tragic moment. Kalista and my sympathies go out to his family and loved ones. He was a wonderful man and one of the great heroic figures of the conservative movement. Bette Midler and her hatred wrote, No, Newt. His birth was a tragic moment. He was one of the vilest reptiles who have ever trolled the planet, and of course, birds of a feather, Newt. Mend your ways, lest your death bring the outpouring of joy so many of us feel at his demise. Joy at someone's demise. That's what she typed here. William Harding writes, rest in piss. Where is Rush Limbaugh? It's a picture of me and hell looking for him. This is who the left is. And I'm tying this into the massive Fukushima update for a damn good reason. Because it's the left that promises us over and over again all of these great things that are going to happen. And they say that people like Rush Limbaugh are the reason for a hardship in the world. Really? Because I'd like to ask you a question if that's the case. Why is it that the left wants to shut down progress due to the minimal damage, by comparison, that oil and natural gas cause the environment, and yet they want to do nothing when it comes to the problems created with their supposed solutions and the woes that it brings? Washington Post. Texas grid got crushed because its operators didn't see the need to prepare for cold weather. You mean like putting windmills up? I know windmills aren't to blame for all of it. I get it. But you put these windmills up in your remarkable intelligence and they totally freeze up, will not move. How does this make you feel safe? Quote, even a reactor at one of the state's two nuclear power plants were dark, hobbled by frozen equipment. Well, that makes me feel safe. If I was in Texas, I'd feel even safer, wouldn't you? What they did is they came around and they put these ridiculous things up. They put these stupid windmills up. 
and they cannot generate juice. Okay, you want to talk about another, another brilliant uh, hint towards the dunce cap watchers? Are you still with me? Are you still watching? Tell me you're still watching. Listen to this. They told the people to boil the water. Texas authorities told people to boil the water. People who did not have power. How in the hell are you going to boil water? You might be able to get a fire started, either, you know, in a grill or a, a, in your fireplace or whatever. How in the hell are you going to get it hot enough to boil enough water for people to drink? Very unlikely that that's going to happen. This is the genius that we're dealing with. These are the kinds of people that are calling Rush Limbaugh evil. According to 6.40 a.m. WHLO, in the 4 o'clock hour, it was said that much of the energy needs will be met by neighboring nuclear power plants. So they're going to crank them up higher. Do you see where all this is going? Because this is all the supposed Green New Deal, remember? This was going to make things so much better for everyone. Another hint about the Dunce Cap of the Month Award. Let me know which ones of these you like. You still with me? They tell people to set their thermostat at 58 degrees at night and 68 degrees during the day. Now, when it's 3 degrees outside, for those of you who are not from Ohio, when it's 3 degrees outside, it is miserable at 58 degrees, you freaking dope! It's miserable! And let me tell you what else it's going to do. Here's a prediction of what you're going to see in two weeks. You're going to find people having a respiratory response. Their nose is going to run. Their throat's going to hurt. They're not going to feel good. They're going to be achy. They're going to sound like David Justice on the Trivisano show. My knee hurts. My back hurts. My leg hurts. My toe hurts. My chin hurts. It's going to go on and on and on and on. My earlobes hurt. It's going to go on and on. And guess what? That sounds a lot like the symptoms for corona, right? So all these people are now going to go rushing in to try to get their corona test. They're not going to have corona. It's what happens when you put your thermostat at 58 degrees in Ohio. This is the loving left who's condemning the death of Rush Limbaugh. And I'll tell you what, you think he's bad? This is where you're going to want to share this video. I've got people watching right now on the Media Speaks. Hit share. I'm going to have people on the HDEF. Hit share. Hit share. Hit share. Follow this through with me. They don't want coal, oil, natural gas. These windmills up that are supposed to be the salvation of Texas, right? Stay with me. Stay with me. It's supposed to be the salvation of Texas. Now they need more nuclear power. So now the loving left can say, well... We know that we can't have coal, oil, and natural gas because we're warming the planet, even though the science can prove that we're not. We're warming the planet, so we can't use those. And unfortunately, the windmills, you know, they just didn't come through. I know. I know you're shocked. Shocked though you are, they did not come through. They didn't come through. So we're going to need more nuclear after all. But that's okay because nuclear is safe and it'll prevent global warming and everything is fine. Well, isn't that exactly what the left used to stand against? This is an excuse. I don't think they called it and planned it, but this is going to be used as an excuse to usher in more nuclear power under the guise of the global warming lie and under the guise of need in Texas. And in other places that could be in similar circumstances for different reasons. Mark my words, hit share this video, take my ideas and word it better than I did, but let other people know I'm exposing it now. You can plainly see it happening absolutely plainly see it happening. And why did the left supposedly used to be against nuclear technology? Well, let's take a look at this. We're going to get to our Fukushima story in a minute. The Tri-City Herald, because of course Fukushima is the main reason that most logical people would be against it. But because of the global warming lie, it's been repackaged as safe. The first time they, they sold the lie, it was going to be the, uh, the peaceful atom that was going to be too cheap to measure, remember? Well, now they've repackaged the lie, and instead of being too cheap to measure, it's to save the planet. It's still a lie. 
Tri-City Herald. Hanford starts emptying radioactive waste from a leak-prone tank first in 17 months. Hanford workers have begun retrieving radioactive waste from another of the nuclear reservation's 149 leak-prone underground waste tanks. Just like Fukushima. The date of the Department of Energy has completed the waste retrieval from 17 of, to date, 17 of its 149 single-shell tanks, some of them built in the 1940s. At least one of the 132 tanks yet to be emptied is leaking waste into the ground below. And of course, we all know what happens. The rainwater comes down and brings the perfectly safe nuclear, uh, uh, nuclear waste from the ground into the skies, and then that perfectly safe nuclear waste gets into your drinking water, and you drink the perfectly safe nuclear waste, and you bathe in the perfectly safe nuclear waste. I'm wording it that way, so of course the video can be perfectly allowed on YouTube. Because um, if you tell the truth, you know, you can't be on YouTube. To, uh, D D uh, DOE has been working to empty the tanks of their solid waste, thick sludge and salt cake, for about 22 years. Moving waste from single shell tanks to 27 newer double shell tanks for storage until the tank can be treated for disposal. Now that's a very hard sell. So if you wrap that and package that in the global warming lie, now you've got something you can mold into, particularly when you're molding it into the diet of an already incredibly dumbed down people. Particularly so when you're dealing with people who would, uh, you know, call Rush Limbaugh evil because they don't agree with some jokes he told. They get you looking at some a talk show host, and they don't get you talking about things like Hanford. Because if they talk about things like Hanford, you might just click off. But if they talk about, ooh, evil Rush Limbaugh, it's not going to get anywhere. When the truth is, evil Rush Limbaugh is just a talk show host, and Great Big Fukushima is actually the problem to which we should be talking about. That's what the left does. That's the loving left for you. As work starts to empty tank AX-104, it is the first time that uh, Doe contractor Washington River Production Solutions has started emptying waste from the tank since August of 2019. And if that wasn't enough, we've got the Dumdy of the day. Now, friends, if you would like to donate, you can do so at the correct view. I have no Dumdy music. You can do so at the correct views at hotmail.com through PayPal. Once again, youtube.com through PayPal at the correct view. I'm sorry, the correct views at hotmail.com through PayPal. You can subscribe at youtube.com slash the correct views. There, I said it just like Joe Biden would have. Friends, how many times have we heard that there was nothing to fear at Fukushima? Because Fukushima, as we all know, is absolutely perfectly safe, and there isn't anything to worry about at Fukushima at all. That's what we have heard over and over again. So if that's the case, then it would stand a reason that we know for sure that there is a limited ability for us to predict the, quite what damage we're looking at on anything much over... A level six. Now we're talking about a Jenga block of buildings here, friends. A, an absolute Jenga block of buildings. And if they topple the fuel pools and the radioactivity that is inside of this plant, could be nothing short uh, of an extinction event. I've said it before. It could, depending on how it happened. Uh, it, it could be a, a, a nothing else, a jeopardy to the entire Northern Hemisphere. But we were told that none of this was going to happen, that there was very little to worry about. Which brings me to the dumdy of the day, which right here, ABC News, at magnitude 7.3, which when I went to school was substantially higher than a 6. A 7.3 earthquake strikes near the site of the Fukushima nuclear disaster in Japan. Struck Saturday off the coast of Japan's Fukushima Prefecture, which was home 
to one of the world's worst nuclear disasters almost a decade ago. So on the 10 year anniversary of when we told there weren't going to have any quakes of a substantial size, what we get here, of course, is a quake of substantial size far greater than they said we were going to get. How many times can they give you the same lie and you fall for it? A Japan meteorological agency has said that the quake, the which is initially said to be a magnitude 7.1, struck at 11.08 p.m. local time, 9.08 Eastern Standard, that's a depth of 34 miles. 14 aftershocks were recorded, it said, adding that a tsunami warning had not been issued. The quake also felt in Japan's capital, Tokyo. Friends, we have two people that are frozen to death in Japan, due in, in Texas, due to the practices of the loving left. We have earthquakes happening far bigger than we were told it would be likely to happen in the area where the loving left said that it wouldn't happen, as cleanup is happening much slower than the loving left said would happen. We have the Hanford disaster 22 years into it, which is getting no better than it was when the left used to be worried about it before they started worrying about the threat of global warming, which isn't happening due to man, instead of the poisoning from nuclear power plants, which is happening due to man. And all of this we're supposed to believe is due to the evil, evil, evil Rush Limbaugh and people like him. Friends, you've listened to the correct views. Thank you for lending me your ear. Please consider donating kindly at the correct views at hotmail.com through PayPal. And please hit share. I cannot explain to you the amount of good that's done when you hit share. It gets me by the algorithm. It gets me by the sensors. And it helps me immensely. I don't have the kind of forgiveness around me that Rush Limbaugh had. I don't have the kind of support, I don't have the kind of popularity, and I probably don't have anywhere near the talent. But I do wish to say with absolute honesty and purpose that I do the very best I can out here, and I really do believe that the facts I give can make a difference. And I might not have a great team behind me. I might not even have a partner anymore on the show. Perhaps it's because, you know, maybe I should have been a better person. But I know this. I know that facts have purpose and meaning behind them, and people can be helped by facts if those facts are given to them. Now, some people are closed to the reality of truth, and you can't do anything for them. But there are a lot of people that can be reached, and I hope that you will use my videos to do it. Good night, friends. God bless. Yes, I saw the comment. No, it's not dirt. It, uh, Ash Wednesday is a cross. Good night, friends. God bless.